comfy in terms of facial stuff that you, you just kind of come up with a basic you know the true line of these is we know they're inbred brothers and they're a bit messed up mm. so uh, we've spoken to Paddy he's very clear about what he wants and we hope we're going to provide it for him it comes in cycles really you know there, there's a spate of them out now and you know, they're they're kind of a staple of cinema. You know, they're they've always been around, and you know, I suppose they always will be. Like ghost stories, I mean, it's the, the fascination we have is horror, yeah. and the dark side of things. We're hoping for a spin-off, like Ernie and Bernie go to Hollywood. Ernie and Ber Bernie go to Hollyhead. <laughs> I think that's about as far as we get. Well, maybe Ernie and Bernie yeah. go into town. Yeah. <laughs> Ernie and Bernie That's very have a scary. Bath. <laughs> Ernie and Bernie have an epic. That'd be an epic <laughs> classic. Trooms is a it's a horror film about a group of Americans uh, who come over to Ireland to meet an old college friend of theirs who's promised to show them a place where they get the best magic mushrooms in the world. Um, but when they arrive, uh, things at first are fine and they're having a great time, but gradually uh, it begins to fall apart a little bit and uh, the trip isn't, as, uh, isn't the kind of trip that they originally expected to go on. I mean, I suppose from my own point of view, I've always liked horror films and I felt there was maybe the, the, the sort of maybe psychological aspects that the shrooms and the idea of you know hallucinating brought into the story made it made it an interesting premise that maybe I could try something that had elements of a slasher film but also elements of <coughs> of something more psychological like uh, some of the recent Asian horror films The last three films I done are comedies, uh, but the film I did before that was a sort of kind of dark, moody drama. My first film, which was pretty strong on atmosphere and uh, it had no commercial potential whatsoever, very dark and moody and broody, but uh, it did have a lot of atmosphere and that kind of development of atmosphere that you, that you get in horror films. So I was kind of interested to go back and do something along those lines but maybe something that had more of a commercial uh, appeal or something that could appeal to a wider audience. Shrooms is sort of a splice between you know classic American uh, teen horror film and then some of the aspects that have come out of more recent Asian horror films. Uh, just something a bit weird and uncanny and strange mixed with something that's very visceral and immediate and physical and uh, chase-like, you know? So that's what I've tried to make, that, that splice between the two. And I think the element of the shrooms and then, you know, the hallucinogenic aspect of the shrooms and that psychological uncertainty that comes with that, you know, are you, are, can you be sure about what you're seeing? Is the trip real? Is it not a trip? If it's a trip, how can you all be sh having the same experience? Uh, surely all your experiences should be individual experiences. And I think that, Th that aspect lets, has let me maybe marry that more visceral, physical, you know, sort of chase-like aspect of American teen horror films and the sort of more uncanny, weirder style of the recent Asian horror films. Maybe it's a, an uncertain time in the world uh, and maybe that's created a demand for them in some way it's an interesting thing they always seem to come be popular at times when there's uh, uh, American misadventure abroad maybe uh, which is you could possibly see as a code in this film you know after the Vietnam War there was a lot of horror films and you know uh, you know that that drew on political events that were bringing uncertainty and economic uncertainty and political certainty into the world so m maybe, maybe they do well during times of unrest and unease you know
by and large, this is where I live and I want to continue living here. But I like making films outside of Ireland. I like the subject matter of films that can be made outside of Ireland that sometimes you can't do in a small place. You know, um, I think this film works here in the way that we've set it up, that we get an American cast to come here, uh, American characters to come to Ireland, because there's something about the romantic nature of Ireland and maybe the mystical nature and the ghosts that are attached to uh, Irish iconography that people in the world understand and I think bringing an American cast into that is kind of a good way maybe to enter into that story into, into the story. I started casting in uh, in America last um, I don't know sometime last summer and very quickly I saw Lindsay and thought she was fantastic and Jack as well and thought he was fantastic and I kind of knew that I wanted to try and get them into it and you know their their careers were developing and there were a lot of interest was beginning to uh, be had in them so I had to kind of slightly do a dance and walk a fine line to, to try and secure them because uh, such great actors and I'm sure they're gonna have fantastic careers and I think I'm quite lucky to have got them just maybe at the right time. I'd worked with both uh, Sean McGinley and Don Witcherly, who play Ernie and Bernie, before. Um, Don was in I Went Down and Sean was in Man About Dog. And they're just two great actors. And I knew that they'd bring a huge amount to the, the film. And I think for them, it was kind of interesting. It, let, it gave them a chance to do something that maybe they wouldn't do otherwise, to go, you know, to bring their characters to extremes that they might normally get a chance to do. Paddy certainly has always wanted to make a horror film, and the, this, you know, the script. When he happened upon the script, and Pierce had delivered the first draft, it was just something that he was the naturally he was naturally interested in, and it was something that fine. It wasn't just because it was a horror film; it was because it was it was the right horror film. It was it was a film that he was interested in making, um, and particularly with the kind of putting together some more of the aesthetically pleasing elements from Japanese horror with something like the the narrative drive of American teen slasher, with something that had appealed to him. Um, so he pushed it in that direction, and. Uh, we're very happy to or be here Or alternatively, you could say he found himself in that situation and he used that justification after. <laughs> yes, you <But>, could. <laughs> but no, like, uh, his first short film has kind of had elements of horror and kind of elements of tension. The second one as well had, you know, they were, he was always kind of knocking on the door of trying to do that. Lindsay has something like she's like a she's like a 1950s film star or something like that. She just has a, a, like an extraordinary ability to be a different person. Mm -hmm. She turns it on and off like a switch. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And it's it's a pleasure to work with her because she's quite she's, she's quite complicated about doing it. Yeah. 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 It's a, you know, for a young actress, it's a very interesting role and it's quite complicated. And she's got to deliver many different things within it. And all of those different ranges of being vulnerable to being you know to the fear to you know all the other elements that are required for a role she can deliver. Maya Hazen, who, who has a fantastic ability just to be light, you know what I mean? And it's a kinda, very good comic actress. Very good comic actress. Um, Max Cash, likewise, is kind of like, he's, he's, you know, kind of reminds me of a Jimmy Stewart or mm. you know, that kind of thing. Throwback. He has a kind of real kind of just likability and we spent a lot of time with the characters in this film before we start getting into the, the story you know so I think it's something it's something about the film I would say that we're, these guys really help us do you know we're trying to we're trying to do something slightly different a bit more time with the characters a bit more of a feel for them before things start going pear shaped um, and, and, and Rob Alice. and Alice are fantastic as well yeah. They're Rob all, they're is, just, a, is a great physical actor actually really, really yeah, good yeah really good physical comedian um, and Alice has to do an awful lot of fear and she does it really, really well.